Hello and welcome to day two of our three-part special here at Tea in the Park. Today we'll be finding out what the crew and the festival goers think about the festival. It's been fantastic so far. I mean, we, we specially ordered this incredible weather for the weekend, so it's holding out so far. We're keeping our fingers crossed that it's not going to rain. Sun shining, which a uh, you know, sunny day in Scotland is, is nice anyway. It's in parts nice without the sun, but putting the two together is fantastic. Weather makes it all the better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Always good when the sun shines. It has been absolutely excellent. This is the first time I've ever been here before, and absolutely fantastic. Sun's just making all the difference, I think. So far, it's been uh, sunny, and it's been verging on slightly drunken. Um, I'm sure it's going to get a lot worse as uh, the, the day progresses. Uh, it seems to be a bit quieter just now. I don't know, uh, but. Yeah, everyone's happy. The sun's out, so it's better than some years. I love it. It's great. A, I can go home to my own bed. B, the music's fantastic. And uh, it's quite special to me. I'm quite attached to it. It's good fun. It's the best festival in Scotland. Probably UK. It's fantastic. There are just a variety of people that are here. So many different backgrounds, everyone coming together, everyone getting along. I just love the atmosphere. Quite a few vinos, as you probably tell. I've had too many already. And my glass lights up if you do that. <laughs> He's brought me to this festival because he went down to Glastonbury last week with his mate. So I've been bought this time. We've got, you know, a great team of people who've been on the event for a long time. But it's not just our team, it's, you know, the police, the medics, the, you know, the guy who runs the Scottish Ambulance Service, has worked on sea for, for almost as many years as me. And, you know, so you get a great rapport with these people. And, and, you know, you all know each other and you all support each other. I'm Katie Malloy, I'm from Malibu. Um, I'm here with a team of people and basically we're just roaming around uh, in groups and pairs, spraying sun lotion on people and ensuring they don't kind of fry themselves to a crisp. Um, my name's Fiona White. I am the executive producer for the BBC. I'm doing all the live coverage of the event across the weekend. My name's Arlene McLaughlin. I'm doing the photo running for the weekend. We basically just take the photographers from the media village to the front of the stage and as it says on the t-shirt, first free, no flash. They get free songs, no flash. And then we escort them back again. My name's Jim Gellatley. I'm doing some things for BBC Radio Scotland's Zones. I'm doing bits for my own podcast and I'm writing a diary for the Scottish Sun. I'm uh, Sam, I'm from Glasgow. Um, I'm helping out in the bar and around here I'm helping clear up, helping serve drinks. Just any miscellaneous work, I'm doing it. If everybody else has done their job well, then I don't have to do very much at all. And I'm pleased to say that's really been a good case. Decent pay, you get to see lots of, lots of great acts. And uh, you know, it's great banter around with the people as well. For me, it's like the fact that we get to come to the festival and instead of having to buy a ticket, we get paid to work. So that's the best thing. There's music and there's beer and stuff. But yeah. I love working with an amazing bunch of people that we work with across the weekend. All the, all the, from all the technical people at the BBC, right across the whole big machine. That's just an awesome thing to, to witness. Uh, we're doing lots and lots and lots of different highlight shows, compilation shows, um, red button coverage, online, um, tons and tons and tons of stuff this year. I think we're doing more more coverage on more platforms right across the whole weekend. So it's been good so far. Um, and also, I like when it finishes and we can go home. <laughs> so that's us here for day two at Tea in the Park. Make sure you join us tomorrow for episode three when we'll be interviewing tons of the bands that have been playing across the festival.